Hi guys, this is Adam and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a seamless loop track from existing track. So as you can see I've pre-recorded a couple of ambient sounds um, using the Absinthe and Reactor which is provided by Vienna Instruments. At the moment I'm using Reaper which is digital audio rock station. Uh, it's very cheap, it's probably around $55 per license. Let's start. So now let's just copy this file into a new tab. Uh, Ctrl C, go to File, a New Project tab, Ctrl V to paste it. Uh, what we want to do, we want to trim all the silence and fade out effects. We don't really care about it. Let's go to the beginning and do the same. And that should be fine. Now we want to select a region that we're going to play. So just left click and drag your mouse. So from the beginning to the end of the file. Now left click somewhere here. Uh, make sure that you have repeat on and play it. And see, you can hear um, that we probably want to have a nice seamless transition. So once again, right, so now the best way to achieve it, because this track is around 44 seconds long, probably let's say 20 seconds, let's say somewhere in the middle, uh, left click and zoom in. And what we're looking here is a, pa um, is a pattern where we don't have any uh, spikes. So as you can see, we have the top and the bottom line, and we're looking for this, those kind of patterns where um, those lines will simply align. And make zoom, and we don't really see anything interesting here. Um, but over here, over here, Left click somewhere in the middle and click S to slice the, um, the track and zoom out. Now we have two separate tracks. Turn off the snapping and move the second part of the track over here and the first track somewhere over here. Now because the end of the track is going to be the beginning of this one, or actually the beginning is um, is going to be seamless because we just cut it here. What we have to do, we have to make sure that we have a nice seamless transition over here. Because if you play the, uh, the track now, you can, you can hear that it doesn't seem to be right. So if you click, left click on the corner of the first track, we want to achieve something called fade out, which means that once we are going to trigger this area, we're going to fade out the track and we want to fade in the track above. So make sure that th this will overlap. Now play it again. And you can hear a perfect transition. Now we want to make sure that the beginning and the end works fine as well. So place the cursor somewhere at the end of the file and zoom in. Move your cursor again here, zoom in. And that's probably the area that we want to move our sliders. So okay, you can move this guy over here. And I zoom in again because I lost it. And Put it here. Now zoom out. Put the cursor somewhere here. And let's play it here. So, once again. Sounds perfect. Now 
what do we want to do now? We want to render the file and we're going to copy that to Unity. Let's just call, call it test loop ambient. And before we render, uh, we want to have a master mix, but we want to just render the time selection, which means we'll render anything that is between uh, those two guys over here. Render one file, excellent, show in Explorer, that's the truck we're interested in. Now open Unity, so this is my default project that I've been working recently, there's a lot of ambient trucks. We want to just drag and drop this file that we just created over here. Look for test loop and we can in Unity play it and here's, hear it. And if you want to see how it behaves in the game, select the camera, press F, maybe choose the top navigation and just simply drag and drop the file. And it should be very close to the camera. Make sure it's looped and play it. Okay, so it's probably been played second time and you can hear it's a very nice seamless transition and that, that, that is a very agile way of uh, creating a seamless loop. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen here and want to see more, subscribe, like and check my other videos. Thank you very much.